ever is a couple of film clips from a documentary that is designed to move the American public, to tell the story that we've been trying to tell these last couple of days in a dramatic way that's going to reach and move and motivate all the people who would never come to a serious conference. As it turns out, for years, we have been living dangerously. You know that, and I know that, and we, have, we know lots of people who have yet to accept that fully. And our friend David Gelbar of 60 Minutes fame took on the project of telling that story in a compelling way that would reach people in the American public. He had a long and storied career with 60 Minutes. So think 60 Minutes meets climate change, giving all new meaning to the ticking clock that we've come to know. <laughs> so let me introduce our guests, and we'll be off and running. And first, next to me is David Gelber. He's managing director of Roaring Fork Films. David is executive director of the Years of Living Dangerously. David was Ed Bradley's producer at 60 Minutes for 25 years, during which he won every major journalism award, including the Peabody, two DuPont Awards, and eight Ennis. By the way, all of these folks deserve much longer introductions than I'm giving them right now because we're all so anxious to jump into the conversation. Next to David is Heidi Cullen. She's the Chief Climatologist at Climate Central. Dr. Cullen serves as Chief Climatologist for Climate Central, a nonprofit science journalism organization headquartered in Houston, New Jersey. She is a visiting lecturer at Princeton University and a senior research fellow at the Morton Risk Management Decision Processing Center at the University of Pennsylvania. She is also the author of The Weather of the Future, published by Harper Collins. In Carl Chairman Emeritus of the Sierra Club. Carl became chairman of the Sierra Club in 2010 after serving for more than 17 years as its executive director. A veteran in the environmental movement, Carl was with the Sierra Club for more than 30 years. And under his leadership, the Sierra Club helped to protect more than 10 million acres of wilderness, including such highlights as the California desert and California's giant Sequoia National Monument. During Carl's tenure, the Sierra Club led the charge in helping to walk more than 125 proposed new coal fired power plants. <coughs> Carl continues to be active in the environmental movement. Most importantly, he is on the series board and we cherish his leadership, his thought leadership. Welcome to your time, Pain and David. So, <laughs> The Years of Living Dangerously is a documentary that is going to kick off at the beginning of the year in 2014 on Showtime. Yeah. It's going to be terrific narrative with camera ready post, uh, tremendous stories. And today, for the first time ever, you are going to see the raw footage of David's work. You won't see this again. It won't be posted on the series website. Um, but we are going to get to be on the edge of our seats to see it today. And after we have a we're going to watch the clip for a few minutes. We're then going to have a conversation. We're going to see a second clip. And then we will be opening this up for questions. So you want to be thinking now about the questions you want to ask our panelists. So before we show the clip, I'm just going to ask David Gilbert if you could set it up a little bit for us. Let me just make one little correction. Which is that it's not really a documentary, it's a series. It's going to be an eight-hour series on, on Showtime, which will air at the end of this year, the beginning of next. Um, and I, we have here is rough cuts. It's not quite raw footage. It's, it's, we've done some work. We're about one-third of the way through. We've shot some of about 10 of the stories, and we have another 10 of the other ones that we shooting yet. So for something that you don't like, it's because we haven't fixed it yet. Um, <laughs> so, um, the, so the first rough is about five minutes, I think, this first one. And it's, uh, so on the day after, Hurricane Sandy, we decided to do a story about a block on Staten Island, a street called Yetman Avenue, that was pretty much wiped out of the Southwest Um And when we went there the day after the, uh, the Sandy, we met the, the, the sort of Republican congressman who represents Staten Island, guy, Michael Green, <coughs> who has, as you can see, become a uh, Key character in the story. So we're going to pick up this rough cut after our correspondent Chris Hayes 
who some of you will know from MSNBC, and is working with us on the series. Uh, after Chris Hayes talks to a woman who has lost her husband and her 13-year-old child in New York, 